For our next Upwork profile review, we get to take a look at Wesley's profile. He's an expert Squarespace web designer and developer. Wesley is part of the Freelance Family Man membership program. And so that's why he is getting this personalized review. If you want me to review your profile in a video and go in depth into how you can optimize it and improve it to find more clients on Upwork, check out the link below. We can learn more about a Freelance Family Man membership. It's only $59 per month. And I will review your profile in that first month and give you personalized advice as well as you having access to a bunch of other course material and a monthly group coaching call. And there's plenty of other benefits in being in that program. And so go ahead and click that link below if you want to take advantage of that. And after the first month, if you're not satisfied, you can always cancel and you can get as much out of it as you want in that first month. You're definitely getting a lot more value than $59. I wish that I had access to something that low of cost to get the kind of coaching I needed when I was first started. So let's see what we have going on here. Okay, first thing I'm noticing is he says expert Squarespace web designer and developer. Typically putting the word expert in your job title is not helpful and it's kind of over talking a bit. It's an overused word. And then in the first line of his description, he says, my name is Wesley, an expert Squarespace designer. He's literally rephrasing the job title, which is also not helpful. Um, that tends to be a turnoff to clients as they see the preview of your job description literally repeat what your job title is. This is super valuable space right here. You don't want to be taking that up with just repeating your job title because they already know what that is. And then from mastering custom CSS to delivering seamless user experiences, I'm committed to enhancing your online presence. That's a great first sentence. That should be your first sentence. Not this, just take this out entirely. Let's collaborate and unlock the full potential of square pace for your business. Now, this is a little on the short end. Right after this paragraph, I would add a section where you're specifying the specific things within Square Squarespace that you're really good at. Um, when it comes to custom coding on Squarespace or whether it's manipulating templates, what specifically on the designer or development side is your specialty within that that aligns with what your target client is looking for. Also, what I'm noticing is a lack of a target client. Right now, you're speaking generally to anyone who wants a Squarespace website. But I can tell you from experience, especially with websites, a client is going to want to hire a web designer and a web developer who has worked with and is used to working with uh, businesses that are in their same industry because the style, the approach to the website, the way that the website is set up and navigating it you have to have an understanding of your target client's target client or their target customer. Um, and the more that you work within a specific niche as a web developer and a web designer, uh, the better you'll be able to sell yourself in a very saturated space. There's a lot of web developers on Upwork. So you have to pick a particular niche that you feel like, you know, whether it's a fashion brand, health and wellness, fitness, a tech company, what types of designs and what types of website navigations are you going to have the easiest time doing that you feel like really aligns with your strengths and then pitch yourself as somebody who designs websites for and you say the type of business that it is right here in this first paragraph. That's also missing. Now going back up to the job title because I didn't fully flesh that out yet. Um, I think we've covered the about description with those couple of things and then adding a, a paragraph here again with specifications on what you can specialize in within Squarespace. Um, going back up to the job title, let's go do some search searches real quick of other freelancers that are pitching themselves in the, in the Squarespace space. <laughs> and um, what are they calling themselves? The ones that are getting the jobs that seems to have the, the most recent work. So first we type in Squarespace. We see what Upwork is suggesting, design, developer, Okay, let's start with design because he's going after both keywords here in his job title, designer and developer. Now, yeah, you know, funny enough, the first two showing up, do they are calling themselves expert. Um, but again, I still think that word is way overused. Um, and to be honest, the first one to two profiles, clients tend to skip over anyways. Uh, they don't tend to trust whoever's on the very top. But if you're in the top five, you're in a better spot. Um, Squarespace web and graphic design, Squarespace expert, 96, 100% job success, okay, hourly range. Again, this, so this freelancer again is from New York, so he's, 
he could charge more, but he's trying to compete with these other freelancers. But I would say that, yeah, going back, let's go back to the profile real quick. Okay. So yeah, from New York, uh, 25 an hour is going to appear pretty low for somebody from New York. Uh, I would probably put it at least in the thirties, if not 40, if you know that you're pretty good at what you do, you might be new as a freelancer. Uh, you might be new, um, you know, with your business, but if you're good at what you do and you've been doing it for long enough, you could bump this up and you're not going to be able to, there are clients that specifically want to hire somebody from the U S um, but if they start seeing a rate that's similar to somebody in India who's doing the same thing, they'll start thinking that your value is less because they're expecting this to be higher. So it's just that economical bit there. Okay, now going back to Squarespace, Wix Studio and Squarespace website designer. So they're not using expert in this one. They're just saying they're website designer. Both of these are actually the first two showing up now are from the United States and see the hourly rate 70 an hour. Based on what I'm seeing here, I mean, to be the most SEO friendly, having your title as Squarespace website designer and developer, okay? Squarespace designer and developer. Let's just click on the profile, this first one here, Shelby. Okay, but looking at her profile, she has a lot more keywords in here that are making her profile more friendly towards various job posts related to Squarespace, which is why I recommended adding a section we are listing out bullet points of the specific aspects of Squarespace design that you are good at doing. Website maintenance, website updating, SEO, app integration, tech solutions, workflow automation, um, and then, you know, the different tools that she knows how to use. Um, you know, she has a more thorough description here, maybe a tad long, but she's giving a detailed, here's, here's the process in working with me. And here's all the specific skill sets. That's what's missing from your profile. So it looks like your profile is not fully finished or built out. And so I would definitely add a section in there where you're dividing up some of these other keywords that are going to show up in your client's job post because that'll actually help the SEO of your profile and help it show up more to uh, the target client that's looking for you. What I would recommend to really stand out is that on your profile, you say Squarespace website or web designer and developer for and you state a specific type of business for tech companies you're really going to stand out amongst the other freelancers that are in the search so far that are showing up because many of them are just saying they just they'll do squarespace websites for anyone you pick a specific niche and that niche is going to be highly attracted to hiring you because you're like oh you specifically design squarespace websites for tech companies i'm a tech company I want to work with you opposed to somebody who's more general. Um, aside from that, making sure you create a video showing examples of your work, but also teaching something related to best practices with Squarespace web design. So you show that you're an expert on, on how to go about it, um, making it an educational video, but at the same time showing off some of the work you've done, especially in this space, those visuals are really important. Create a five minute video that you put in your profile and that's going to help as well. So, Hopefully that helps you, Wesley, and being able to optimize your profile. Sometimes it seems like only a few minor tweaks, but it actually makes a big difference. Um, just the things you change about your job title, your description, adding a video, all those things make a big difference in your profile actually being visible and showing up to clients. Again, if any of you want me to review your profile, and just so you know, because Wesley's in the program, he's going to watch this video and then have some questions for me and I'll follow up with him with additional ideas because he's in the coaching program. Uh, this video is not the extent to which he will get help with his profile. It's just the beginning of the help that he'll get from me with his profile. So if you want help as well in optimizing your profile and finding more clients on Upwork and have a ton of course training content, check out the membership program below or just pay $7 and take the Upwork Profile Optimization mini course that I have on my website as well. Just go to freelancefamily.com and courses, and you're literally just gonna take a one hour video training on exactly how to optimize your own profile, and it's only $7. And that right there can make a big difference in you finding more clients on Upwork. Until next time.